You were making a toast to yourself. How pathetic. If I kept going on my way, even the robots behind me would have laughed at you. Yes, and I was about to make a moment post about how I'm totally not sad, too. Your eyes narrow slightly when you pretend to be happy. They don't light up, either. I'm tired of watching you pretend. Please stop. Then from now on, you can at least stop pretending in front of me. I mean, I would have seen right through you regardless. It serves no purpose to pretend in front of me. Let's go. I'm walking you home. Take a look outside. Are you sure about that? Did you bring an umbrella? You've looked at the snow long enough. Hurry up. No, it sounds boring. Cheese. It contains too much trans fat. All right, second question. Americano or latte? It's always interesting to watch you try to start a conversation. Sitcom. The one that uses holograms to make its guests try and survive the Jurassic period. I want to hear about it. Your stories. Especially the ones where you make a fool of yourself are always fascinating. I worked overtime for weeks last year. In the end, I decided to sleep in my office at the hospital. The director told me I must take rest to recharge my body. Back then, I wasn't happy about this decision. However, it later dawned on me that everyone has a limit. We aren't as tough as we think we are. If you have energy to spare, please do me a favor. Promise me that I won't see you in the hospital again this month. You walked in twice last month alone. Every time I dressed your wound, you were really noisy. I would like some peace and quiet. I'll walk you downstairs. Give me a moment. What are you looking for? I'm right here.
Why did you run off earlier? Enough. Regardless, it wasn't the hospital that called earlier. You should head upstairs now. Good night. I'm aware. And? More or less. Correct. <laughs>